Maybe Barry will change his mind. Mm, oh, I doubt it. I said some pretty unprofessional things about his work. I may have even used the S word. <laughs> Subpar? I'm not proud of it, Amy, but I have a temper. Well, I suppose we could pick a different date. Well, it took you nine months to choose that one. I'll pick a different husband first. <laughs> Hey, I, I just I wanted to apologize about the Athenaeum. Why did you lie to me? I don't know. It just seemed funny at first, and then the longer it went on, funnier God. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that's why. That's not much of an apology. Yeah, because he's not really sorry. Obviously, he wanted a place to go where I wouldn't be. And apparently, all of outside wasn't enough for him. <laughs> Come on, I do feel bad. Why? Did your best friend hurt your feelings? Well, Sheldon. Well, look, I only have time to deal with one jerk right now, and that's Barry Kripke. What? He has the Athenaeum booked for our wedding date, and he won't give it up. Yeah, so if you could just please leave before I get angry and say something I will regret about your face, your height, your personal hygiene, or the fact that your science, while serviceable, lacks panache. It's actually one of the nicest things you've ever said about my work. And now I regret it. Goodbye. Hey, Kripke. Hey, whoa, Hofstetter. Huh? <laughs> Why are you cleaning that out yourself? Don't you have grad students? Come on. I can't make my grad students do every dirty job. Or so I've been told in writing by the head of human resources. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so, look, I'm here to ask you to give Sheldon and Amy the anthem for their wedding. <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> Because, deep down, Barry, you're a really good guy. But am I? <laughs> Fine, what's it going to take? <laughs> Barry, I have come to ask one more... Leonard? W why are you doing that? Because deep down, Barry is not a good guy. <laughs> He's making you clean out barrels of irradiated grease? Yeah. I made a deal with him to get you the Athenaeum for your wedding. Why would you do that? Because I was a jerk for lying to you before, and besides, you're my best friend. I want you to have the wedding of your dreams. On Mars? <laughs> okay, I want Amy to have the wedding of her dreams. Well, thank you, but I don't want you to do this. Well, it's okay. Well, no, it's not. We're not going to let Barry win. Well, what are we going to do? We have a combined IQ of 360. Yeah, perhaps more if that radiation gave you a super brain. <laughs> well, you're right. If we work together, we can totally outsmart Barry Kripke. Leonard, my nose itches. What do I do? <laughs> hey, good news, Amy. We got the Athenaeum. Oh my gosh, that's amazing! <laughs> How'd you get Barry to change his mind? Well, I couldn't die without Leonard. Well, you should have seen us in there. We were like Batman and Robin. <laughs> Why do I have to be Robin? If you have to ask, you're Robin. <laughs> What happened? Well, we scrubbed out some barrels of irradiated grease, rinsed off in the safety shower, and then told Barry Kripke what is what. <laughs> and he just gave in? Well, we agreed to invite him to the wedding. Okay, no problem. And he gets to bring a date. Well, that's reasonable. Yeah, and if she charges by the hour, we have to cover it. <laughs> what else did you agree to? Well, um, you know how Barry has the voice of an angel? He is not singing at our wedding. He only wants to sing Volare. Oh, Volare! <laughs> That's what he was saying. Well, I did, I did not get that. Guys, I appreciate everything you did, but we can find another location that's just as good. Maybe the Japanese garden or, or the planetarium. Oh, the planetarium! I hadn't thought about that. That's even better. Wait, what? 
I'd scrub sludge for you. And I may be slightly radioactive. Oh, you're exaggerating. Don't let him touch the silverware. 